Okay, let's go ahead and do a simple example of a logarithmic equation. So let's say we have the base two log of seven x plus one. And these parentheses are necessary because the entire seven x plus one is inside of the base two log. Uh, this whole thing equals three. Okay, so how do we solve log equations like this? Well, we can just convert them uh, to their equivalent exponential form. So remember, if we have something like uh, the base a log of uh, x equals b, then that's the same thing as saying x equals a to the b. Okay, so the thing inside of the log equals the base raised to the thing on the other side. Okay, so in our case, that's going to be written as 7x plus 1, the thing inside of the log, equals the base, base 2, raised, oops, base 2, raised to the third power. Okay, the 3 is the thing on the other side of the equation. So here, thing inside of the log equals the base raised to the thing on the side of the equation, other, other side of the equation. So 7x plus 1 equals 2 cubed. Um, 2 cubed is just 8, so this is 7x plus 1 equals 8. Subtract 1 from both sides, and we just get 7x equals 7, and divide uh, both sides by 7, and we get x equals 1. So we see that even though this might look kind of complicated at first, uh, once we convert it to its equivalent uh, exponential form, and then simplify ever so slightly, we actually get a pretty simple linear equation, um, and we end up with x equals 1 as our final answer. So when you're solving log equations like this, um, it's a really good idea to check your answer in the end. So if we have x equals 1, and we want to check our answer, what happens? Well, we get base 2 log of, whoops, base 2 log of 7 times 1 plus 1 equals the base 2 log, 7 times 1 is 7, 7 plus 1 is 8, so this is the base 2 log of 8. And if we are comfortable with our logarithms, um, we get lots of practice with them, we'll know that the base 2 log of 8 is in fact 3, oops, 3. Okay, because if we say the base 2 log of 8, and what that really means is what number does 2 have to be raised to to get 8? And the answer is 3, which is exactly what we wanted because that's what we have here. So that's great. Uh, turns out x equals 1 is the correct answer, and that's one example of a logarithmic equation.